<clears throat> Welcome again uh, to the Verde Solutions um, um, SAP MM training videos. Uh, today we will um, show you how to uh, create a vendor. How to create a vendor master record. Okay. Um, the, the transaction to create a vendor master record is XK01. Um, XK02 and XK03 are the uh, transactions to view, uh, edit and view the transactions. So I'm now in XK01, this is creating the vendor. Always in SAP it's recommended that you use another vendor that is working to copy the vendor. In this case I'm using the account group uh, 1. Account group 1 is just very generic for vendors. Account group, account group um, contains, carries or controls number ranges, field status variants, and also the vendor type. And now I'm creating the vendor in company code 1000 and purchasing group 1000. Okay, and this is internally assigned number range. So based on the configuration for 001, the system internally assigns a vendor number for it. Okay, now I'm creating a uh, uh, name, it's Verity Solutions. Um, when I'm just creating my name itself, Inc. Search term. This is what do you want people to search you for? Typically, it's your name. Okay, I'm just going to put Verity. Um, um, country is going to go to be US, and we are in Texas. We are in 104 Industrial. Il Word and uh, and we're seven seven four seven nine. Uh, I'm just going to check it is recording it. And my communication language is English. And all these here things are optional. So once I put in the the basic information and I press enter, it's asking me for the uh, account control. Is Verity Solutions also the customer? In this case, no. It's asking for tax information. I mean, it's my tax and the type of businesses um, I have. It's not been maintained yet. So, is it a you know, is it uh, LLC? Is it a corporation? Uh, and what is my you know, VAT registration code? Um, what is my um, you know tax number? And that's EIN number uh, and all those things. Okay, all these things are you know entered right here. Uh, and also some other reference data. What has the industry I'm in? Uh, what are the um, SAC codes? Uh, reference information for that particular event. I'm just going to leave everything blank. I just don't have all the information. And now it's going to ask them for the bank information. This is the vendor's bank information. This country is called the US. Um, I'm a bank key is just a two digit uh, you know, number or just a, it's just a number. So let's say my account is with uh, Citibank, <clears throat> that's a bank key, and my bank account number is 8899, something like that. And account holder is Verity. Okay. <clears throat> and I so this is this record is used to pay me for any ACH, any wires, any transfers to me. Okay, and I'm gonna click enter, it's gonna go to the next uh, record. What is my contact person? Contact person, uh, you can say guru. Raj is my contact person and I can also put my telephone number for this you know particular person and I'm going to go into the accounting information. See because I copied the vendor 1000 it's copied the reconciliation account. Reconciliation account is the one that ties the um, GL account subledger to the ledger. So this is six, 16,000 is a standard reconciliation account that we use. Sort key this is how you want to sort the information. I'm going to do again F SF1. What is a sort key? Uh, system uses the standard sort sequence for displaying the line items. So how you, when you are, when I am displaying the items, how you want this thing to be sorted. So I'm just going to be using sorting by document number and fiscal year. And this is um, the cash management group that is used in treasury. And this is a release group. Um, how you want this thing to be uh, released. What is my you know release you know, procedure for this release group? This is my interest indicator. How should I calculate my you know interest? 
uh, for this particular vendor and also the frequency how I should calculate the, the vendor. It's going to be monthly. Okay. And I'm going to go into the second screen. It's asking me for payment terms. So when I receive the invoice from this vendor, when do I pay this vendor? Now it says ZB01. ZB01 should be like net 30. Uh, ZB01 is typically net four, net 45. Okay. So I will pay this vendor 45 days after the receipt of invoice. And also put in the tolerance groups. Tolerance groups is, you know, what are some of the tolerances, you know, for this particular vendor. Uh, I can also do payment methods. So you, in this case, you in this case, I don't know, I think I'm going to do a check in this case, okay? So I'm going to pay this vendor by check. Or I can also do, um, you know, wire payments. I can also do um, ACH. I can also do international check and all these things. Um, and then that should be, and also dunning procedures. How often do I need to send this particular vendor uh, letters? It means account balances and things like you can do. Uh, you can create a variety of you know, dunning procedures. And also who is the correspondent uh, that you need want to interact with that particular vendor. And I'm just going to save it at this particular point. And I've got, I've created a vendor, uh, 100415, in company code 1000, for purchasing organization 1000. And I can start using that particular vendor when I create the, the PO. So uh, now I'm going to go here, um, go out, uh, go to ME21N. Okay. And I can actually put in that particular vendor. And it's asking me purchasing organization 1000, 001, company code 1000. Now I can start putting the, you know, material. And then I'm good to go. And I can order, uh, you know, quantity 12 pieces. And I'm just going to be uh, creating a delivery date of some sometime next month. My net price is going to be $10. And my plant is going to be 1000 and now my PO is ready. So I just created a vendor and kind of reused it in my PO and I left it blank blank. I mean this is for stock. This particular thing is for stock and I'm creating the PO. And my PO has been created with the vendor that I've created. Okay. Hopefully you have learned something new today and um, please visit our website for more of these demos and, uh, and videos.